Hi, I'm Solalum, and this is part three of our tutorial series on how to use Sunbox. Previously, we went into the different parameters of a generator, but we skipped over one, and that was the pulse modulation parameter. The pulse modulation parameter allows us to use pulse modulation on our generators, and it can definitely impart a very unique sound to our generators. So what we're going to do is to just look into that today and see how we can use it. So it's pretty simple. Uh, this this spinner, this uh, 0 to 255 value, controls how much pulse modulation is influencing this, our, uh, this generator, our selected generator. Now in order for this to work, for pulse modulation to work, you have to plug in a module into the, uh, the audible generator. So we have notes here on our first generator, on our audible generator, and that controls, that's just normal notes. We'll hear uh, how they sound and they'll play normally, as you can hear now. Right, now, what we're going to do, uh, we have a, another generator pa patched in, this is our modulating generator, and what we're going to do is play a single note here, we'll play a nice high note so that we can hear it, um, and it's going to span from the beginning to the end of the pattern. Now, uh, and it also has this, the sustain up, so it will last the whole uh, pattern full volume. Now, what we're going to do is set it to be the basic triangle, or the first uh, type, generator type, and so we're going to hear how this pulse modulation sounds. So let's uh, start it off with zero and then we'll crank it up. Now in addition to uh, simply having a generator plugged in, we can still use any of these uh, parameters to influence how this generator affects our audible generator, our sounding generator. So, for example, changing these types will change how this uh, waveform is modulated. So we'll try that out and uh, see how it sounds. Right. And of course, we still have attack, release, polyphony, so you could even have chords, although that's, it sounds pretty bad, but you could even play chords on your modulating um, synth, on your modulating generator or instrument, and then have it affect your audible instrument. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do with just pulse modulation alone. So that was part three on how to use Sunbox, uh, that tutorial series, our tutorial series, and hopefully I'll get into something useful in part four. Uh, please keep watching. Thanks for watching. I've been Solar Loon. I uh, hope you have fun with Sunbox.